welcome back everybody to another all things nerd video as always my name is searing george <laughs> my name is nathan i'm glad you all enjoyed that last video <laughs> um guys today we are in the battle for azeroth expansion we are in the crucible of storms dungeon and uh, we're gonna be getting out of bounds and checking around the outside and i'm actually at the final boss here and we're just gonna kill him real quick and i think i just completely overshot my signal of flame um but i uh, hope you guys are all doing well i uh, am excited to keep moving forward with the war within dungeons i think i had mentioned them before but um they are really hard like um the war within dungeons are not easy and um to interfere in my affairs what makes you think you can oppose my will enjoy this victory it will be your last i can feel the dark presence receding the shrine will be whole again all right there we go okay i wanted to let them finish their dialogue um, yeah, guys, so we're back in the, uh, battle for Azeroth's man in the Shrine of the Storm. Thank you, and, um, You've we have Brother Pike over here talking to us. People. Now, there is no credit for this dungeon. I don't think anyone has actually broke out of here. I don't, unless somebody did, and I don't know. It wasn't on the list that I know of for OOB. I double-checked it twice. Um, it wasn't there, so I don't know who gets credit for this dungeon, but, uh, I'll comment down below whoever did it. And I'll add it to the video. But for now, I'm going to show you how I break out of this dungeon that I found uh, a few months back. It took me a while to actually break out of this dungeon because I never thought about actually going to the very end here and breaking out. Um, but yeah, so right at the last boss room here, you can see exactly where I'm at. Yeah, what's really awesome about this dungeon, it's actually also the, um, the raid for Crucible of Storm. So the... Shrine of Storm actually goes into the Crucible of Storms, which we're actually in right now. And um, so you're actually in the raid within the dungeon. And it's pretty cool. We're within the dungeon within the raid. And uh, it's pretty awesome. And you can still break out because we got a lot of cool stuff to see out here. So what I did is um, I actually just put a pillow right here. There we go. And you're already out of the dungeon. And there you go. And you can swim and you can actually get out right over here now i'll warn all of you guys if you go back anywhere this way outside that way whatever unless you know somewhere i don't you're gonna die so just be careful there is death walls all around the dungeon um i'll show you a path that i took to get out and um to get outside we're actually gonna jump on our uh, old school mount that we always use here and uh you can get out right over here outside the map or is it right over here i believe you go out here you drop down and we're gonna walk out that way and go in the water but i want to show you guys this awesome scene that's going on here in the shrine of the storm with the boat that they have going on and you can see these npcs uh up close they are fully modeled i think i believe there are mages from what i'm guessing but they're doing like water so you know which still makes sense i mean mages do water right they also have frost so we can see this whole scene going on and um, I think you can actually get up to the ship as well. So if we go around over here, I don't know for any of you who have watched the uh, Shrine of the Storm, um, sorry, Crucible of Storms raid video that I did a while back. Uh, we're literally going in, we're, we're in that, we're in the raid right now. So they're both connected, like I said earlier in the video. Um, <laughs> so I think think if we get up here we might be able to actually get on top of the ship real quick uh oh okay oops i was like where the heck is my um fell rush there it is okay so i think we can glide over here yeah we should be okay probably didn't even need to do a vengeful retreat twice but that's okay we'll do it for dramatic effect and there we go we're on top of the boat so as you guys can see the whole boat of the inside is walkable and you can actually go inside of it. And if you want to see the inside of the boat, I'm not going to do it now because I've already made a video on this place. Well, I did the raid part of it. I, I actually go inside the boat and you can see exactly what's in there. But I want to show you guys these guys up close with what's going on in this scene. 
because these are just npcs that are laying outside the map that you're never supposed to see to begin with up close uh you can see them from a distance where we were over there but um yeah it's pretty neat that they got this whole thing going here and it looks like they are preparing to uh capture the boat here and you can kind of get another up close shot of this guy oops i fell off and there we go so yeah you can see they're fully modeled they are doing their little cool spell stuff uh but yeah there we go so that's the boat uh, i'm not gonna go inside of it like i said i've already done it in another video so if you want to check out the inside of the boat that's how to get inside of there on top you just fly from over that side and uh yeah so we're gonna go head out this way um we're gonna get on our cat here and i'm gonna head out over here now there's a hole in the wall over here where um you can actually just jump straight down there we go and we are officially outside of the dungeon here um oh crap i think i went the wrong way yep okay i'm glad i caught myself don't go that way i think you actually get stuck um i think you want to go this way actually now i don't remember um i thought that we could just get out right here maybe i'm wrong um i was able to get out of this map another way and i'm trying to remember but if you do get stuck you should be able to just swim back up actually so let's actually head back up this way if we can get back up because i might have messed up here uh okay so it is clipping here but the thing is there's water over here uh okay you know what maybe i'm just completely wrong i remember getting out over here and uh maybe it was actually uh farther up so i may need to stop the video for a moment get out and then come back because huh i thought for sure this was it but you know what we might be able to do oh here we go we can swim here all right that might work let's just keep swimming up and then we'll just get back up real quick sorry about that guys i thought this was the way out um and i think it still is if i'm not mistaken Whew. all right so you can you can still get out but i think it's right over here there we go so we're behind the door this is where i wanted to go gosh dang it okay right here <laughs> now we're outside the map and as you can see we are outside of the dungeon officially um and you can go into the water here it won't dc you and there we go so now we're outside okay that took a minute we are gonna swim across now where we're at as you can see right here we are officially uh outside the map here you can see where stormsong valley is if you head out this way towards boralis you can get to it in the distance so we're just gonna walk across the water here and head out this way so awesome and actually you get this whole cool backside of the dungeon here look at that i don't know i think that's really awesome to see now i have to be honest with all of you um i'm a little sad <laughs> because i've had two bad experiences with pre-built computers recently and uh i purchased one and i ended up returning it because it was just too expensive um and then i actually got another one but uh the brand that i bought from they kind of make really cheap parts in the computer so the guy told me to just return it who i bought it from and get something different like a more trusted brand so so far i have returned both pre-built that i've had and i'm back on my old computer again <laughs> so i guess that's just life sometimes um and uh, sometimes you just got to be an adult and uh, live with it. So. <laughs> but uh, I'm hoping to get another one soon. I'm just kind of waiting to see if I can get a really good deal on one. Um, and then I'll move forward with it. But just the way it goes sometimes. All right. We're going to make our way across over here. Now, what's really awesome about getting outside this dungeon is um, you got the whole island of Colt Pyrus here that you can explore um i remember going outside of here a long time ago 
Now, do remember, don't go in anywhere here because you will die. There's death walls everywhere. So try to stay along the outside of the dungeon here and you should be fine. And what's really awesome, too, is you see here, we're actually supposed to be in fatigue, but there is no fatigue. So, um, yeah, pretty awesome. Now, I know a lot of you are going to say, man, you should end. You should just build your own computer. Um, I did uh, growing up <laughs> a lot, a couple times, actually. And I'm not a big fan of PC parts, so I don't really like building my own computers anymore. I'd rather just spend the extra money and buy one. And you only save like maybe 100 bucks, 200 bucks building your own. So it's not a big difference. I'd rather just have someone put it together for me. So that's why I end up just buying one. I got tired of building them. <clears throat> so... I was like, you know what? Let's just uh, let's just buy one. So, and there are good there are good brands out there, and um, and actually, right now they're having a huge sale. I don't know if it's like they're having a big flash sale at Best Buy and Newegg, and a lot of places are having cheap computers right now. So, they're having some really good deals. Uh, for what reason? I don't know. For a holiday or whatever, but I know Black Friday is coming up here in a few weeks, and they'll probably have some really good sales then too. So, if you guys. Anybody else looking to get a new computer, that's probably going to be a good time to get one. All right, so let's actually go ahead over here. And they do keep all of Boralus here from the outside, which is really awesome. So let's go explore the city and see how far we can get. Now, if I remember correctly, there was actually one place here in the city where you can fly in the air. Um... For whatever reason, I don't remember why, but there was actually a spot where you could fly with your mount outside the map here. And um, and it's either in this OB or the out of bounds of the ending of the raid. Um, gosh, what's that raid? This one here. I'm not even going to pronounce the name, but at the end of this raid here, I know that there's a whole scenery of Boralus in the distance. Remember when you get on the ship and you get back? And there's all the fog covering the map and all that. I actually was able to escape and get outside the map. That one's kind of hard to get outside, too. That takes a little bit of patience. But here we are. We're inside Boralus. And um, we are officially in an OOB of Boralus. So it's pretty awesome. I was pretty happy about it. So they, they do keep the whole city here, which is really great. And uh, nothing too special, if I remember correctly. But it is pretty neat to see that you can go in a hole. Uh, are the portals here? Nah, they're not. Okay. And the game doesn't even recognize we're indoors. I think you can ride your mount everywhere you want. So if we go in here, I think we should be able to stay mounted. Yeah. Which is really awesome. They're not going to dismount you. So if you ever wanted to ride your mount doors, uh, this is definitely the place to do it. Uh, let's go see if we can jump on some of these ships over here, and I think we can. Definitely don't want to get stuck, though. So yeah, pretty neat. Uh, they do keep all of the city here, and you can go directly all through it with your mount. You don't even have to dismount, which is really nice. Uh, let's head in the back here. And let's go head back this way. Gosh, got a stupid fly flying around me right now. It's really annoying. It's it got inside the house earlier. I don't know how it did, and I think it got it when I opened the door earlier. And man, flies are quick. Like you open doors to your house, and they just fly in like really quickly. All right, let's go quickly. Go. Oh, look at you can actually see that we're in Morales, and it actually opens the map and all of that too. So really need to see that. Uh, they keep all of this here. I love riding around on our new cat mount. This thing's awesome. Having a lot of fun. I love that tree in the distance. Look at that. It's like a fall tree, like a fall foliage tree. Look at that. How awesome is that? Perfect time for fall, huh? For October, Halloween, all that. Where else is a really neat city? I don't know. I just think it was really, a really cool city to be in. Yeah, I just love all the fall colors and the trees, the orange. It's a really fun city to be in. All right, let's go head out this way. And let's go run across the map and see. And I believe they keep all of the map out here. So it looks like they keep everything in the distance so far. 
Let's go see if we can run to the uh, manor dungeon over in... Um, excuse me, over in... Um, I can't think of the name. Uh, over in Crestfar, there is Waycrest Manor. Let's go see if we can get over there real quick. Now, we are going to avoid caves and stuff because a lot of times in Out of Bounds, caves are a trap. So just be careful going inside caves. Uh, for whatever reason, Blizzard doesn't load in caves and underground basements. So you can get stuck or you can DC and then your game crashes. And then it's just not fun because you got to put in a blizzard support ticket unless you can find a way out yourself. I don't know, but it's up to you. <laughs> if you want to test it, go for it. Man, I forgot how beautiful the scenery is in uh, Battle for Azeroth. Really pretty expansion running through, uh, running through here. Now, so far, we're doing okay. Do avoid water as well. As you guys all know, water is kind of scary and out of bounds because water doesn't fully load completely it looks like it does sometimes and then it doesn't a lot of times what will happen is your character will go into a um well so in world of warcraft your character has a swimming animation that when it when it touches or hits water your character will go into like it's swimming animation um but because the water doesn't actually completely render Will render or load in uh your character will get in the water and then it doesn't know what to do so it just like crashes the game <laughs> so do be careful of going into water um All right, let's keep moving up this way. Oh, okay. So, so far we are in Freehold. So we are going the very opposite direction, but you can see they do keep all Freehold over here. And I was wondering, I'm like, where are we going here? But let's go up to the very tippy toppy mountain and let's head out this way. Uh, Yeah, okay. We're flying out this way. So let's just go take a fly. There we go. We're just gonna take a cruise down this way. Now you can see all the animations and everything are still up here up in the mountains. Even though you're never supposed to be up here to begin with. Unless you're in the retail version of the game, obviously. It's pretty neat to me that uh, some of these dungeons that Blizzard does keep outside. Um, You know that they keep all these different different maps outside the map and i don't know it's just so much to keep it seems like for no reason all right let's go fly down this way and let's go make our way into drug drug star right yeah drug 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 star i think that's how you say it Now, just reminding you all again, sometimes I'm going to mispronounce things. Uh, sometimes I do it on purpose to be funny, and sometimes I just don't have no idea how to pronounce the word. <laughs> but, uh, you know, I'm not a hardcore WoW player, so I don't know, you know. I mean, I know the lore and some of it and all that, but I'm not, like, you know, 100% accurate on the name sometimes. So I just kind of make up funny words or the way I think how to pronounce things. So I'll just say things. Like I said, Searing George, the other video. <laughs> uh, I know. I know it's not Searing George, but I don't know. I just always said Searing George, though. So. All right, let's go ahead out this way. And, and we're actually going to head out. Okay, so we're actually already still going the wrong way, so we're going to drop down here. Our poor cat took damage. There's another cave they kept out there. Be careful going in there. If you guys do decide to ever come out here. 
it's pretty neat if you ever wanted to be on a whole Kultiris by yourself without no enemies or anything, this is definitely the way to go. And I love that the music stays as well. Makes it, a, gives it a great atmosphere. By the way, I've been getting back into League of Legends. For those of you who don't know, um, I've been playing. I've been playing League for over 12 years of my life, but uh, I was a uh, big addicted player for years, <laughs> and uh, I took a long break. And then I got into World of Warcraft again, and that's actually why I started the channel to get away from League. And then I'm kind of slowly getting back into it. I'm almost back to Plat Four right now. I'm in Gold One at the moment. And, um, I'm a jungle man, so, um, but yeah, it's going really, really well. I like that everybody gets muted off the bat when you go into the game, like you, unless you unmute chat, you can't hear anybody, which is really nice. Um, so that's been super nice because that community, as you all know, is never fun to play with. <laughs> um, I have a long history with League of Legends. I was a, uh diamond player back in season four and uh that's when i would stay up and play nine plus hours a day and i was in high school so i had all the time in the world <laughs> when you're young but uh now i work full time and i'm married and i don't have all the time i used to have now i dedicate my time to doing the channel and playing games when I can. I did play some uh, World of Warcraft Classic Hardcore the other night with my younger brother, and that was a ton of fun because that brought back a lot of memories, and we had a really good time together. We were just laughing, and um, yeah, it was it was fun. So I texted him, and he was saying that he, uh, he's he been thinking about it all week, that he's been wanting to play again. So it was cool to hear. I know. It's a good time with... Bro if you have a brother and sister or your family, spend time with them as much as you can because... You never promise tomorrow. Keep that relationship with them. I know a lot of you know that I actually got into World of Warcraft because of my older brother. Um, he was the reason why I started playing to begin with. So, dedicate this channel to Michael. Shout out to you, buddy. I wouldn't be doing this if it wasn't for you. I don't know if he watches his videos or not. <laughs> maybe he doesn't. Maybe he does. I don't know. I don't even know if he ha he knows I have a YouTube channel. All right. Looks like we're almost to the manor. I can see it in the distance. Thanks for those of you that have stuck around in the full video. I want to say thank you. Um. So yeah. I mean, as you guys can tell, this is just the full map out here, which is really awesome. So. Another Court of Stars, I like to say. <clears throat> One of the things I need to go do is I need to go back to Court of Stars and get out of bounds in Legion and see if I can fly into Dalaran because I think you can do it. Look at the particle light effects going on out here, but that's kind of neat. Because normally this is supposed to be a dark side of the map, but because I lit it up with the stinky bright potion, we can see everything out here. So it kind of gives you like a nice uh, different view of things out here. Oh, by the way, they do keep Mechagon. So if you do want to go to Mechagon Island, maybe we can head out there next after this. And I'm going the wrong way, aren't I? The manor's up there. Where am I going? Holy moly. I was like, wait a minute. That doesn't look like the manor. <laughs> I was going to uh, White Grove Chapel. Oops. There we go. Let's go head up this way. Here we go. Now we've made it to the manor. So as you guys can see, they do keep Waycrest Manor out here, which is awesome. Can't go inside, unfortunately. 
But as you can tell, the whole house is rendered from the outside and modeled. So pretty cool. I love it. It's cool to see. I think you can even get on the back side here. I always thought that was a really fun dungeon. I did that out of bounds dungeon with, um, I did it not too long ago, uh, about a few weeks back with submerged and, uh, he had helped me do the video and here we go. We are inside the courtyard of the backside of the Waycrest Manor. So pretty awesome. All right, guys, let's go head out. Um, you can see Mechagon in the distance. Let's go head up there and then uh, we'll look to end the video. So I'm going to show you guys that you can actually get fully back there. It may take a minute to um, to completely cross the water here. So yeah, let's just go take a little swim here. Well, not a swim because we'll DC. So we'll have to just ride our mount. But let's get on our hoverboard. That kind of... Ah, we DC'd. Dang it. Okay, yeah, we hit the water. This is what I'm talking about, the water. Be careful jumping into water. Um, all right, we're going to load back in real quick. And I think we should be okay. Oh, yeah, we're good. All right, yeah, it just puts us back on our mount. Oh, thank God. Okay. Woo. All right, let's go head out to Mechagon Island. So that's what I'm talking about. So if you guys ever decide... To go out to an out of bounds and you go really far out into the out of bounds avoid the water because you will um dc just like i did so and uh luckily though we didn't get too far out where we were stuck so we could just load back in on our mount and we were on top of the water so that was we were really lucky with that to be honest All right, let's go ahead to Mechagon Island, and then uh, we're going to call it a wrap. So I just want to thank all of you for who have joined me in this uh, Crucible of Storm video. It's been a lot of fun coming back to the Battle for Azeroth expansion. Now, just a reminder for all of you, I am going to be starting the Shadowlands expansion next year, at the beginning of next year. So in January 1st, right after Christmas, I'm going to be jumping straight into Shadowlands. You guys all voted for it for 2025, so I'm excited for it. Um, I'm still working on War Within content. That has been a little bit of a challenge. I'll be honest with you all. Blizzard has gotten really smart with Out of Bounds and the way that they have made things. So they're really making them future proof. And uh, I'm having a, a little difficult time doing some of those videos and recording them because there is just death walls upon death walls in that expansion and so i'm i'm working on them slowly so i'm gonna have to path those out and uh see what i can do all right looks like we have made it to mechagon island we are slowly making our way and let's turn off the stinky bright potion and we are in the nighttime now And as you guys tell, they look at, they got the whole island out here as well. Pretty crazy. And the music changes too. And you can fully explore here as well. Actually, let's take another bright potion. Because we can't really see. There we go. A lot better with that. All right, let's go into the main central place here, and then uh, we're going to call it a video, guys. So I want to say thank you for watching this again. Uh, thank you guys always for supporting the channel. I know that uh, I've taken a little bit of a break of uploading. Woo! I almost hit the water again there. But uh, I needed to step away for a minute. I think it's necessary sometimes. And here you guys go. As you can see, they keep everything here for the most part. Uh, the entrance to the raid or right over or the dungeons right over here, right? So, um, yeah, pretty awesome. So, well, guys, I just want to say thank you for joining me on this awesome BFA adventure of uh, Crucible of Storm. If you haven't been out here, come check it out. They keep the whole island out here and everything over it as well. So we're all the way up in Mechagon Island and uh, it's pretty sweet. 
So we are here. And uh, as you guys can tell, they keep everything. So it's really fun. Not too bad. Um, and you can climb things too, <laughs> which is really cool. Oh, I fell. All right. Well, anyways, guys, I just want to say thank you again. I will catch you on the next one. As always, my name is Nathan. Take care.